हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आशीष शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम यू अगेन इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल कॉन्सेप्ट कनेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट एब्जॉर्बेंस रेशियो मेथड और क्यू वैल्यू मेथड ऑफ मल्टी कंपोनेंट एनालिसिस बाय यूवी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट प्रॉपरली प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड I would like to let you know few things. First one is multi-component doses form, which refers to a pharmaceutical formulation that contains multiple active ingredients or components. For example, a tablet that contains two active ingredients, nemesolide and paracetamol. Secondly, multi-component analysis. which also known as multivariate analysis or multi component spectroscopy it refers to the quantitative analysis of a sample that contains multiple components or substances in multi component analysis the goal is to determine the quantity of api in a multi component doses form this can be challenging because the signals or absorbance from different components may overlap with each other making it difficult to quantify them accurately this means if we want to find out the quantity of paracetamol in afflict np tablet by uv visible spectroscopy nemesolide present in this tablet may interfere with estimation of paracetamol or vice versa different methods of multi component analysis by uv visible spectroscopy help us to find out the quantity of a particular component in a multi component formulation without getting interference with another component in the example of given tablet if we are using suitable method of multi component analysis nemosolide will not interfere in the quantitative analysis of paracetamol and paracetamol will not interfere in the quantitative analysis of nemosolide although there are different methods of multi component analysis by uv visible spectroscopy in this video i will talk about absorbance ratio or q value method firstly we will see what type of absorption spectra must be shown by both of the drugs so that we can apply absorbance ratio method each of two absorbing drugs for example drug x and drug y should have some absorbance at lambda max of another ones and overlay of the spectra must show an iso absorption point here we have uv visible spectra of two drugs drug x and drug y drug y absorb some radiation at lambda max of drug x similarly drug x absorbs some radiation at lambda max of drug y and both of the spectra shows iso absorptive point means that at a particular wavelength both of the drugs show similar absorbance if you see this type of spectral patterns in the spectra of both of the drugs you can apply absorption ratio method to find out the quantity of individual drugs in the multi component doses form hence we can say that this method uses the ratio of absorbances at two selected wavelengths one which is an iso absorptive point and another being the lambda max of one of the two components with this condition we can state the principle of absorption ratio method as for the substances which obey beer lambert's law at all the wavelengths the ratio of absorbances at any two wavelengths is constant value independent of concentrations now we will see step by step procedure for using absorption ratio or q value method 
for simultaneous estimation of drugs by UV visible spectroscopy. First step is to prepare standard solutions of both of the drugs. Then record spectra of both of the drugs, say drug X and drug Y, separately in same solvent. Get an overlay spectrum of both of the drugs. Now select two wavelengths. One is an isoabsorptive point, say lambda 1, and other one is the lambda max of one of the two components, say lambda 2. Now record absorbances and calculate absorptivities at both of the wavelengths. One is isoabsorptive point, here we say it lambda 1, and another one is the lambda max of one of the two components. Here we say it lambda 2. Here I would like to let you know about absorptivity, which is the capacity of chemical compound to absorb radiation. This can be determined by using Beer's Lambert law and its formula A equal to ABC. Here A in upper case is the absorbance while a in lower case is absorptivity. B is path length which remains constant in most of the cases which is 1 cm and C is the concentration of drug. Here we have two drugs whose absorptivities are to be measured at two wavelengths. Hence we have to measure total four absorptivities AX1 absorptivity of drug X at lambda 1 AY1 absorptivity of drug Y at lambda 1 AX2 absorptivity of drug X at lambda 2 and AY2 absorptivity of drug Y at lambda 2. Now record the absorbances say A1 and A2 of the sample solutions at both of the wavelengths isoabsorptive point lambda 1 and other one the lambda max of one of the two components lambda 2. Here A is the absorbance at lambda 1 and A2 is the absorbance at lambda 2. Now you can find out concentration of drug X by using this formula QM minus QY upon qx minus qy multiply by the ratio of a1 and ax1. In this formula qm is the ratio of a2 and a1, qx is the ratio of ax2 and ax1 and qy is the ratio of ay2 and ay1. Likewise Concentration of drug Y can be find out by using this formula QM minus QX upon QY minus QX and multiply by the ratio of A1 and AY1. In this way, you can perform quantitative analysis by using absorption ratio method by UV visible spectroscopy. If you are interested to learn about ICH guidelines Q2A and Q2B, please watch my already uploaded, uploaded videos. Links are given in the description. For similar scientific content, keep watching my YouTube channel Concepts Connect. Millions of thanks for watching these videos. If you, if you feel these videos are useful, kindly share and like the video. Subscribe Concepts Connect YouTube channel for being updated with the upcoming videos. Thank you so much once again.